Ever come across someone online and their bio is just, wow, this person does it all. You mean like one of those LinkedIn profiles that makes you question your entire career path? Exactly. And today we're diving deep into one of those profiles uh, or rather about pages. Okay, I'm intrigued. Who's our subject? This week, you sent us Akshay S. Dinesh's about page. And let me tell you, this is not your average bio. Oh, really? How so? Well, for starters, he calls himself a deep generalist, which already, that's fascinating. Deep generalist. I like that. It suggests someone with expertise in multiple areas, but also a deep understanding of how they all connect. Right. And his page is proof. We're talking healthcare, tech, social activism. This guy's got it all. So like a modern day Renaissance person? Pretty much. Mm. Except instead of painting masterpieces, he's building health data platforms and writing code for Debian. Wait, hold on. Debian, as in the Linux operating system. Yep, you read that right. He's a Debian packager, among other things. Okay, now I'm really curious. How does someone go from, like, treating patients to packaging software? Those seem like wildly different worlds. And that's the beauty of it. We get to explore those seemingly disparate interests and see how they all come together to create this fascinating multi-dimensional individual. All right, I'm hooked. Let's dive in. And this isn't just a hobby for him, this intersection of healthcare and technology. It's like a recurring theme throughout his career. You're right. It's definitely not a side hustle. Like you see it very clearly with the Metastrin Foundation, right? That's the one that really jumped out at me, <laughs> building a whole health data platform. That's ambitious stuff. Totally. It really shows that he's not just interested in tech for tech's sake, but he's actually trying to leverage it to solve real world problems. Mm -hmm. In this case, improving healthcare, which, by the way, is a pretty big deal. Huge. And it ties into something else I noticed about his approach. He's not afraid to tackle the big thorny issues like public health, for example. Oh, absolutely. The project with the Institute of Public Health developing that parliament question portal on tobacco, that's a perfect example. Okay, so explain that one. How does a parliament question portal work mm -hmm. and what's its purpose? So basically it's a way to make information about tobacco, which can get very technical, more accessible to policymakers, you know, the people who are in a position to actually do something about it. That makes sense because sometimes those two worlds, they don't always speak the same language, right? Exactly. And I think that highlights another one of Akshay's strengths, this ability to bridge different domains, to connect the dots between, say, healthcare data and public policy. Right. It's like he can zoom in on the details of the specific technology, but then zoom back out and see how it fits into a larger social or political context. Which reminds me of his comment about free software. Oh, yeah, where he says he's a strong advocate, but doesn't place it above human beings. That one really stuck with me. Me too. It's like a small detail on this page, yeah. but it speaks volumes about his values. Technology is a tool for good, not as an end in itself. Totally. And speaking of values, it's clear that he's a big proponent of critical thinking. Oh, yeah. That comes across loud and clear. Yeah. Challenging assumptions, questioning everything. It's refreshing. It really is, especially in today's world where it's so easy to get caught up in echo chambers and filter bubbles. Right. And he even goes so far as to say that he rejects the idea of unquestionable expertise, which at first glance I thought, wait, isn't expertise a good thing? I had the same thought, but then I realized it's not about dismissing expertise altogether. It's about recognizing that even experts have biases and that we should always be willing to question assumptions and look for evidence. Which, when you think about it, is crucial in fields like healthcare and tech, where things are constantly changing and what we know to be true today might be outdated tomorrow. A hundred percent. And it's not just about blindly questioning everything either. It's about approaching knowledge with a critical eye, evaluating evidence, and forming your own informed opinions. You know, it's funny because at first I kind of skimmed over the skills section of his about page. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Critical thinking, problem solving. Who doesn't put those on their resume, right? Mm. But in Akshay's case, it's more than just a bullet point. It's fundamental to his whole approach to everything he does. I agree. And that's probably why he's able to achieve such diverse things, because he's not just relying on rote knowledge or following the same old playbook. He's constantly learning, adapting, and thinking outside the box. Case in point, Map Kerala. Like, how does a geospatial data dashboard even relate to anything else on his resume? Right, but that's what's so cool about it. It shows that he's willing to apply his skills to different contexts to tackle challenges that might seem unrelated at first glance. It's like he's got this mental flexibility that allows him to jump between different projects and disciplines without missing a beat. 
And honestly, that kind of versatility is gold in today's job market. Employers are looking for people who are adaptable, who can wear multiple hats, and who can solve problems that don't fit neatly into any one category. But with all these different projects and passions, I gotta wonder, how does he find the time for it all? I mean, there are only so many hours in a day, right? Right, it does make you wonder, like, does this guy ever sleep? Maybe that's his secret superpower, some kind of time-mending ability. Or maybe he's just really good at prioritizing, you know? Like, he strikes me as someone who's very intentional with his time and energy. That's a good point. And maybe it goes back to that whole deep generalist mindset. He's not just dabbling in these different areas. He's actively looking for the connections between them. So instead of spreading himself thin, it's more like he's weaving these different threads together into a more cohesive whole. Right. Exactly. And I think that's an important lesson for anyone who's interested in pursuing multiple passions. It's not about being the best at everything, but rather about finding the common ground between your interests and using that to create something unique and valuable. It's like that saying, jack of all trades, master of none. But then there's that second part that people often forget, but oftentimes better than a master of one. And I think that really applies to Aksha's story. Absolutely. Because in today's world, that ability to connect the dots to see the bigger picture is becoming increasingly valuable. Totally. Especially as problems become more complex and interconnected, you need people who can think across different domains and come up with creative solutions. It's like, remember how we were talking earlier about his emphasis on challenging assumptions? Yeah, rejecting those unquestionable truths. Right. That kind of critical thinking is essential when you're trying to solve problems that don't fit neatly into any one category. So like he's taken all these different experiences, all these different perspectives, uh. and he's using them to build this incredible mental toolkit that he can draw on for any situation. And that's something that anyone can do, regardless of their current profession or area of expertise. We can all be lifelong learners, exploring new fields, challenging our assumptions, and looking for those unexpected connections that can lead to breakthroughs. Well said. I think that's a fantastic takeaway from our deep dive into Akshay Estenish's About page. It's a reminder that we don't have to limit ourselves to just one path, one passion, one area of expertise. And who knows, by embracing our curiosity and exploring those uncharted territories, we might just surprise ourselves with what we can achieve. I'm ready to be surprised. How about you? Always. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep.